Hello there, good morning, welcome to our sixth episode in Waldstetten. We have woken up a little bit later than usual um, because uh, it's getting light also <laughs> pretty late. And let's have a look. Oh, we got snow by the way, we got snow falling. <laughs> Not sure if that's a good thing or that will really delay us in our work. Um, but we'll, we'll see that. Just want to have a look at our animals. And how many eggs do we have now? We have 100 eggs. That is great. We can store that somewhere. I don't want to sell it just yet. And probably our chickens are now at about 50% then of new production, I guess. Would that make sense? Oh, we can't, uh, we can't see that here. Yeah, that's all right. But I see the newborn chickens. They are already were uh, five euro now per piece. Okay, so that's great. That's great. How are our pigs doing? Do they still have enough food? Because I think they were quite low on food, or at least, you know, when oh, we can't see that here either, right? Last time we looked here. All right, wait. Let's just go by one by one. So our sheep are doing fine, got enough food, got enough uh, water, I want to say, yeah, got enough water. And they're being productive. We don't have too many, I guess, because it's not producing a lot of wool, but I don't know, maybe that takes time. Our chickens, yeah, the, the old ones are 50% uh, towards reproduction. And the younger chickens, they still have to hit puberty. They are 25, I thought, I, I thought I just saw that they cost 50, or that's I guess is to, to buy them, I don't know. And we got a lovely roosters, alright, cool. And then our pigs are also going towards reproduction. And, okay, so let's remember that the food is now at 2087. I want to see how fast it decreases, because it looks like there's not a lot of food, but I don't know, maybe they just eat, uh, eat slower. And I want to have a look at how our field looks as well. Alright, so this answers the question whether you need to seed it, you know, perfectly. Uh, <laughs> the answer is yes. Oh, this looks horrendous. Uh, that looks horrendous. And our expected yield is 64%, but yield potential is 100. Okay, so I guess after we get the grass off the field... Um, we need to do some soil samples to see how we can increase the quality of the field. And we also need to pick up the stone. So it will be a lot of work actually when we, uh, by the time that we are able to uh, uh, get the grass off and uh, before we get the new seeds in. We, we need to do a fair bit then. But yeah, that's all for future. Um, right now, we really need to pick up some contract work. Um, our money is down at 32k, and we're gonna need money later when we need to lease equipment. Well, for example, to cut the grass and to bale it and, and whatever not. Um, I'm a bit worried about that. I'm a bit worried about our financial situation at the, at the moment, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a concern. <laughs> Uh, the animals make me happy though. We still have a fair bit of uh, straw here, I think. Or sorry, hay. Um, 5,000 liters. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. So, not much to worry in terms of food. But I guess, you know, we... I mean, when we uh, harvest the grass, we want to keep it for our um, animals. Food. But I guess we can also sell quite a fair bit. Because we won't need it all. Anyway, enough chit-chatting. It's already 9.22. Uh, and what we wanted to do today is uh, get some contract work done. So let's head to the shop. Um, I am just a little bit concerned about the weather. Um, because I'm not sure whether we can do the contract work when it is... Uh, I want to close the gate. Because I'm not sure whether we can do that also when it snows. Or when the streets will be covered with snow. 
not even sure if we are able to ride without uh, crashing uh, hard. But yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll find out. So I'll head down to the shop and I'll see you guys there. All right, we're heading. Uh, we're coming up at the shop. And as you guys can see, the weather did not really <laughs> get uh, get better. It's snowing heavily. Um, reason why I'm going to the shop, by the way, is because we're definitely going to need to lease the equipment for the uh, contract work. Um, so there's a reason uh, the reason why. Uh, because that will be picked up from, uh, from here. Okay. Uh, let's see what kind of contracts are actually out there at this moment. And see what brings uh, in some good money. So we got a bunch of plowing contracts. Um, although, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of plowing. It does bring in, like I saw, one of seven, seven thousand. So that is, that is good money, to be honest. But I bet that's, uh, that's a big field as well. And what is there only plowing? I mean, it is December. It's not a great, great uh, uh, time of year. Yeah, these are supply contracts. Uh, but we don't we don't have bread, we don't have barley, we don't have anything. So we can definitely not fulfill one of those contracts. But there will be something nice in the future to to fulfill those contracts. So there's only plowing, which I mean I guess you know it's December, so it makes sense. Um, but let's pick up a contract then. Let's pick up field 19 then I guess because it's the one that brings in the most money, right? Yeah, it is what it is. Build 19. Um, for the items, yeah. Okay. At least I hope we have a little bit of a bigger plow than we had to use in our farm. Mm, not too sure. Uh, let's have a look at where plot 19 is, actually. Um... Where is plot 19? Oh, there. Oh, okay, that's pretty close to our uh, home farm. And yeah, as I figured, <laughs> looks like a pretty uh, pretty large one. Well, no point uh, moaning about it. So let's just get down to business. I was about to say, don't we have a weight? But I see a weight uh, lying there. Hopefully this is a nice tractor though, like nicer than we uh, we have back home. So let's get this hooked up. And let's get the weight hooked up. Oh, I do like the, the feeling of this tractor though. I, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to hire an AI worker. Okay, so I definitely like the, the, the feeling of this tractor. But maybe a bit too much. <laughs> Why is... Um, yeah, 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 hold your horses. Let's fold it. I'm not sure why it wasn't folded at the start. Alright. Um, I'll see you guys at, uh, at plot 19 then. So we're getting up at the field. Uh, should be on our left side here, yeah. Plot 19. Uh, let's have a look at the field. What's actually in there? Sugar beets, it's harvested. And... I mean, is the white stuff, is it lime? Or is it snow? Uh, well, I don't know. Probably a stupid question. <laughs> uh, let's... Um, unfold the plow. And let's actually rotate it. Kind of hope we it doesn't take too long. So we can do multiple fields. But yeah, to be honest, I'm a bit bummed out that we can only do um, plowing. Because <laughs> maybe as you know by now, that's not my favorite, uh, favorite thing to do. Um, let's lower it. And yeah, no point uh, whining about it. So let's get it done. Alright. 
So at least this gives us some opportunity to, you know, think about the, the direction that we want to go with our farm. And I kind of want to, at least at the start, like stick to a regular, regular type of farm. So no, no weird crops, no grapes or, 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 or anything, anything weird. Um, I just want to, you know, stay in the food production and, and probably get some, some wheat in there or, or barley or maybe corn. Um, not sure. Um, we can check the, the prices as well. Um, when we have to, to plant the, uh, the crops to see, you know, what, what prices are the most, uh, um, the best income at this, uh, the, at that point and see what we want to do. And perhaps from there, you know, get, uh, get like a mill and stuff like that, you know, to really slowly build up uh, our farm. Another option could be to maybe go into cotton and, and just go like all in, in the um, tailoring business. Because, uh, well, we already have sheep, we already have wool. So, you know, that might be might also be an option to just go into there and you know get like a uh, a clothes shop and a, and a tailor shop and, and and things like that and basically go go into that business um but i don't want to narrow us down too much into a particular business so yeah i have to i have to think about it i mean we also have eggs um so we can also see what kind of production requires eggs um but yeah, I got a feeling that everything will just take take quite a while, you know, to to get to get like a specialization. I think we just have to get into a decent financial position first, and um, probably just take it from there. Um, where I'm always losing my uh, thoughts when I'm doing two things at once. Typical, typical guy. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I don't want to specialize too deep and just take it take it slowly. We just need some decent income, decent money, fill out the, the markets, uh, maybe get an additional plot of land, um, build up our, our livestock, trying not to sell much of, of them, also trying not to sell much of the, the products. Um, I would still really, really, really like to get some, some cows in. Um, I would really like that. I've not uh, I've not done that uh, before, uh, you know. I want to get get some milk in and and, and get some cheese and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they're they're just pretty pretty expensive, right? They they're pretty steeply priced. I think it was like eighty or ninety k just to get like a cheap um, cow uh, uh, cow farm. Um, and we don't have that money right now. I mean, we can we can go for an additional loan, but as I said a few times, I don't I don't want to do that because, you know, we need to get some money in. And if we if we take an additional loan, we'll just be spending more money, more equipment, whatever, and our overhead will just increase, right? Um, the cost for the equipment, the cost for the repairs, um, the cost of the loan itself, right? The interest. So I don't think that is the right move uh, we can we should make right now. We we need to be more prudent and start making making some money. Um, think about either repaying part of the loan, or like I said, expanding with uh, with some a new piece of land or a new livestock, uh, maybe a production point, uh, which we would only need all the way back in in August, I guess, because that will be roughly when we will uh, make our first real harvest uh, I'm, I'm not talking about uh, about the grass um so yeah that, that's a little bit my my thoughts on on how the the near future looks like you know i mean it's almost uh, january so i guess that's the <laughs> the moment when you overthink and you make your your new year's uh, resolutions so those are a little bit the, the thoughts that i have uh, for the future of our farm but of course, happy to uh, to hear uh, suggestions, um, any directions, uh, or, or anything that might be more profitable. Although I do not typically want to approach it purely from a min-max uh, formula, 
but I guess that's a, a discussion for another day. Um, so anyway, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get working on this uh, field. I'll I'll throw some in uh, in a time lapse. So I'll put some nice uh, country music under it, and I'll see you guys in uh, well <laughs> in a bit for you guys, and uh, probably a while for me. <laughs> see ya. with an update on our plowing uh, frankly because uh, it takes very long uh, but that's all right so we are past the halfway mark though we're done 66 percent um, i can see we have left some bits and pieces which we can fix later if the uh, owner of the field is not uh, not happy uh, by the time we're done uh, the goal is just to get this to, to 100% as fast as possible and collect the money and get out of there. But as you can see at least it stopped uh, snowing, so that's a, that's a good thing I guess. wasn't bothering us too much though and I must say I kind of like the, uh, the whole uh, look of it. Uh, made the, the, the plowing exercise a little bit less boring. And yeah, I guess we could have done with a with a bigger plow as well. But anyway, I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not complaining. Well, actually, I am, but I uh, I tried to uh, <laughs> to limit that uh, because this is part of the job, right? And at least it's a day of uh, honest work. Um, I'm a bit concerned of the time, though. It's already becoming 1 p.m. and so I'm not sure if we can do another field. Definitely not a large field. Um, but maybe we can get some wood uh, done uh, to to bring that to the uh, the wood mill. And I actually got an idea for that to to do that quicker, uh, which maybe some of you have already been yelling to the, your uh, uh, to your screen. But I got an idea. But uh, more on that later. So yeah, let's get this uh, this field done uh, asap, and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so we're at 95% done. And as you can see, the day completely got away from us. It's almost 4 p.m. already. So we spent the whole day plowing. And that's a little bit of my fault as well, because I guess I just need to get better in uh, getting straight lines done. I spent a lot of time going over some of the, the plot again, just to make sure that there's less spots that were uh, forgotten. Which is really a waste of time. Uh, unnecessary also to get to the 100%, but yeah, it, it, it just didn't look good. As you can see, there's still a lot of uh, uh, spots that uh, we have not 
cloud yet or like little spots that have been missed out uh, but way less than uh, uh, there was uh, uh, a while ago I'm quite happy with that and <laughs> right now I just want to get the uh, the plot done um, so that's what we'll do um, hopefully just uh, one time back and forth and that's it we'll get to the 100% and then we'll bring back our uh, gear to the uh, to the shop as you can see at the fuel we have basically burned through a whole gas tank of, uh, of fuel in this uh, in this job and suddenly that that 7k that we'll get for it minus i think even a k for uh, leasing the equipment <laughs> suddenly looks a little bit less uh, uh, rich than uh, uh, at the start of the job uh, that's all right. I still wanna wanna try to get a, a shipment of wood uh, away from the from the farm, uh, just to make some uh, some money. So anyway, I'll uh, uh, I guess I'll wrap this one up and then I'll see you guys at uh, at the shop. It is time to collect our money. Finally. I hope they don't charge us for cleaning costs because the equipment it's pretty dirty but hey what are you what are you expecting with a with a plowing job right I can even see some Christmas decoration in uh, Waldstetten I'm not sure if that was already there I don't think so because I'm just noticing all those pretty pretty stars at the uh, at the lights that's pretty cool all right let's hand up the job and collect please yeah 6.6k see not even the, the 7k well hell I'm, uh, I'm happy with it it's like the first day where we actually earned uh, money instead of uh, spend it um so yeah that's uh, that's a good thing so let's get uh, quickly uh, to the farm and let me put up some uh, some music <laughs> there's still every time I, I, I put new concrete here and then there's another sort of weed growing there and I'm not sure how to get rid of it that's uh, in there all right so the idea that I uh, turn off the engine 
So actually the idea that I had for the removing the wood was using our trailer. Remember we have bought a trailer and not really used it uh, ever since. So why don't we just fill up the, the trailer with, with uh, chunks of wood and we bring that to the wood mill. I mean this should be able to carry loads and loads and loads more I think than the, the back of our dear truck. So uh, yeah, let's give this a try. Uh, most of this should already be in bit sized pieces so we can just throw it in. The only thing that I'm worried about is maybe when we reach there that we can't sell it like this. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check that out. Why is this too big? And I think also this don't need to be cut. So, alright, I'll time lapse this a little bit while we load up our trailer. I burned out like a wandering ember I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home all right, I think we have filled this up pretty much to the to the max. If we uh, can get this in, <laughs> I hope we can sell it like this. If not, I'm I'm really gonna cry. And <laughs> we just have to make sure that we are not uh, that we're not tipping over. Let's turn on a lot of lights. Uh, we just have to make sure that we are not tipping over. But so far, this might be the brightest idea that I've had in our whole farming uh, uh, entrepreneurship. <laughs> we just have to make sure that it's not tipping over. So yesterday, with one trunk load, we received 1k. So let's see how much we can get for uh, for this. I, I really hope about maybe maybe 5k maybe this is a load worth of five trunks and at least now we can get the wood cleared uh, much faster and that means that we can also think about the other trees surrounding our plot which I mentioned uh, in the previous episode I really want to get rid of as well um, as it just makes the uh, the farming a bit more difficult as we need to to, to turn the detractors right so if you can get rid of that and it will also bring in some some extra money so that's like a win-win so yeah i want to to get that done as well i'm not sure when we'll have the time for that because i'm not sure whether we can already harvest the grass uh, in January or whether we need to wait until uh, February for that I'm not too sure um, if not then we have some time for that tomorrow um, or maybe some contract work we'll, we'll see um, and I'll also check uh, next time when we're at the shop how much leasing expense I would actually have to uh, for all the, the harvesting of the, the grass and all uh, because we, we need quite a fair bit of uh, equipment for that. Um, I was even thinking about hiring a worker and therefore leasing a second uh, tractor for that job. Um, because there's a lot of different steps that we need to go through for the, uh, um, uh, for the harvesting of the grass into making it our hay and our silage and, and, and things like that. But yeah, I guess that's... Uh, that's going to be uh, something to consider uh, tomorrow. 
or February, depending on when we can harvest. I believe it takes two months for the grass to grow, but I'm not sure whether that's like two full months and then the third month, you, uh, third month you can harvest it, or it's more like um, uh, two months growth, as in today and tomorrow we can harvest it. I guess it will, yeah, two months of growth, so I guess that's then harvesting in a third month. That would be in February. Mm. That would mean tomorrow we have some more time to uh, to earn some money, whether it is with logging or with um, uh, some contract work. Because right now we spent like the whole day for basically one contract job, which gave us 6k. Now, provided, okay, admitted that I could have done it maybe a little bit more uh, efficient. Um, but still, you know, that will get us like maybe 10k at the max then, right? If I do it more efficient. That's still not a lot of money. So I need to, I need to consider some, uh, some options here. To see how we're uh, going to deal that in the future. Maybe be less hesitant with hiring workers um, so we can get more contract uh, jobs done. Um, yeah, maybe maybe something to uh, to uh, to consider. In any case, we should be coming up at the wood mill pretty soon. I don't think this is the wood mill yet. I think this is the, uh, the grape uh, the grape uh, production unit or however it's called where we make our grapes, uh, sorry, our grape juice and uh, uh, what else? Huh? Raisins, yes, thank you. Uh, I don't see us going into grapes anytime soon, but no, you never know. Oh yeah, there, there's the wood, uh, the wood mill. So yeah, I'm guesstimating 5k for this load. 5k. Anything above 4k, I'm 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 happy with. Anything above 6k, I would be pretty aesthetic. So let's see. And how much? 3.3 3. 3 only? Did you like take everything? 3.3? 3. 3? Everything is so much less than I... Yes, look everything. Everything is so much less than I thought. I mean, I know we have put the... Uh, economy on heart. But man, how <laughs> how to how to make a living? Like how to become profitable? How to not be a bleeding enterprise? Huh? Okay, interesting, interesting. Well, anyway, I guess that's it for uh, for today. Uh, not much more we can do, and it's uh, well, it's uh, it's dark. You can see. <laughs> so we'll head down uh, back to the uh, to the farm and uh, get a get an early night thank you for watching this episode and i hope to see you guys in the next episode thank you bye bye